Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm literally there every day. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. So you guys, I haven't done a lip swatching video, I feel like for a month. That's a really long time. You guys know how much we love lip swatches here. So I saw that Tarte released these Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. And I saw that at Ulta, they have eight shades. So I bought all eight shades to lip swatch them. As you guys know, I always lip swatch in studio lighting and in daylight so you guys get all the beautiful views. And no lie, TikTok kind of made me buy these. So this is another TikTok made me buy these because they're apparently going very viral. I haven't looked into them too much because I don't want to know anything until I review it for you, give you that good first impressions and all that jazz. If you are new, welcome. What I usually do is lip swatch everything at the beginning. I don't have anything on my lips. I don't ever wear lip liners, put anything on so you guys can see the true color in studio lighting and in daylight. And then towards the end of the video, you get all the info, how they look, how they smell, how much they cost and all that jazz. And actually, since we're here, let me show you one. Let's go with white peach. Let me just show you how the packaging looks. It comes in their purple packaging. Look, this is pretty, dang. Okay, and the name is here at the bottom. You see, it's like a lip balmy sort of application. Cool. What I'm gonna do right now before we get started with the lip swatches, I'm gonna show you the order we're gonna go in on my phone and then we're gonna get down with the get down. No lie though, look how pretty these are. Look at the packaging. Here are the names and the order we're gonna go in. Kind of darkest to lightest, but wow, so freaking pretty. First one up is White Peach. <laughs> this is White Peach. And in daylight, this is White Peach. Next one up is Cherry Blossom. Hey. This is Cherry Blossom. Bonjour. And in daylight, this is Cherry Blossom. One up is peachy beige. This is the shade peachy beige. <laughs> and in daylight, this is peachy beige. Next one up is Prim Rose. This is the shade Prim Rose. Hey. And in daylight, this is Prim Rose. This one up is Mixed Berries. This is the shade Mixed Berries. And in daylight, this is Mixed Berries. One up is Tulip. <laughs> this is the shade Tulip. And in daylight, this is Tulip. One up is Poppy. Hey. 
This is the shade Poppy. And in daylight, this is Poppy. Last but not least is Honeysuckle. This is the shade Honeysuckle. And in daylight, this is Honeysuckle. Fam, wow, okay. I'm a little confused, but before we get started, let me give you some info about these. The new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump retail for $21. They come in eight shades. These are all in one pumping balm, gloss, color, and treatment. Cushion Comfort XL Complex for a tingle free plump effect. Moisturizes and smooths with hyaluronic acid and 10 plus super fruits. Creamy formula feels comfy, never sticky or dry. Key ingredients is maracuja oil, grapeseed oil, koji, acai, acerola, pomegranate, watermelon, strawberry, blueberry, peach, cranberry, and vitamin E. So like I told you guys, I didn't read up on anything of these lipsticks or lip balms because I wanted to review it for you and really give you my genuine first impression. All I know is that they went viral on TikTok because they're very shiny, comfortable balm. Something to that effect, but of course, I didn't want to really watch videos because, you know, so yes, they are. First and foremost, I had to put all of these in the refrigerator because you guys saw they melted. This first one, I did go in kind of hard. Is this the first one? No, this wasn't. White peach was the first one. I did go kind of hard because I was really excited and I pumped this all the way up, which gave it a lot of room to smear, which happened with the first three. So be aware about that because they are very balmy. They're like literally, I'm kind of getting a chapstick lip balm lip gloss and a bit of a tint all in one so that formula kind of gives you a very soft and supple feel which in turn can smear like you guys saw so be careful i just put mine in the refrigerator to kind of harden them up the formula is soft like it's a very gentle formula don't go in hard like you would a lipstick like i did or like a liquid lipstick this is one of those things you just tap in and you call it a day because it's pigmented a lot is deposited on the lips it gives you juicy lips look and then the tingle we have going on. I didn't know these were plumping. I don't really see the plump, let's be honest here, but I do feel it. It kind of feels like, you know, mint. It kind of feels like a minty sort of feeling, like a bit of a plumping sensation, but nothing crazy. You do feel it though. Do they smell? No, I don't smell a scent, not at all. I don't really like the applicator because, let me show you a darker shade. It's kind of big. And if you have smaller lips like me, or if you don't have a, Cupid's bow, you guys saw I had to grab a brush and really outline my lips as I would do with a lip liner or something. This applicator is just not too user friendly because look, it kind of could take over easily on the lip. Of course, if you have bigger lips, it'll be perfect. I would recommend using a lip liner with these because I just feel like it gives your lips no dimension. You see? And this is the darkest shade. So I'm just kind of like, they look very flat. One of the points of lipsticks or lip balms and stuff is to give you some dimension on the lips. Right now, my, my lips look super flat, but I didn't want to use lip liners because I want you guys to see how the natural, natural color looks. You know what? Let me add this darker lip liner. Let me see. It's this, the LA Girl. You guys not love this one? Let me see if I can just go around. Yeah, we could go around. You see? So that's my only thing I would recommend to put a lip liner. These shades are very neutral. I feel like there's a good amount of shades that fit most skin tones. I don't think it will fit a lot of skin tones because I feel like the last four, I think, were these, were the ones that I felt like really complemented my lips. I have pigmented lips. I do have brown skin. So darker shades would help. These four here, which I guess it's half, they were very, very light. It, it kind of looked like I just had lip balm on. That was another thing that kind of threw me off. Like, okay, the colors are all right. They're not like the best shades, but you do have enough shades to work with and give you like a nice little color. If you ever have a 
lip product that is too light for your skin tone or you feel like it makes you look a little pale always add a lip liner that's a little darker and it creates that dimension and it mixes in that light shade will create a beautiful in between shade with your darker lip liner or liquid lip whatever you you choose this would go perfect on top of a liquid lip though especially one that's very drying oh and it's not a lip gloss it's not a lip balm it's not a lipstick it's kind of all in one and that's what it looks like right i don't know it just gives the lips a very juicy like a truly juicy look and feel so that's what i like i think what they're promoting is exactly what you get i do think they're very comfortable very beautiful very moisturizing every time i took the product off my lips felt so nice they didn't feel stingy they didn't feel like raw because that happens when you're constantly lip swatching so i like that these are very moisturizing these are perfect if you don't want to wear any makeup and you want just a pop of color throw one of these on it gives you a nice shine little healthy look you know what i'm saying do i think you need all of them no i think if you pick one or two up i think you're good because a lot of the shades like i said are very neutral they're specific to how it would look on your skin tone you know i liked poppy a lot here let's watch it poppy has this like pink tone and i really like tulip actually liked honeysuckle but it's a lot lighter than that packaging i was expecting it to be more this shade i feel like these shades really complement the natural pigment of my lips and my brown skin tone so if you pick one or two up i definitely think you would be happy with your purchase and i think tiktok didn't do us wrong because these are bomb are they like kiss proof no yeah you see so just beware they'll probably last a few hours if you don't eat or drink anything but you'll have to reapply i hope you enjoyed this lip swatching video let me know which one is your favorite shade you guys know i love chit chatting with you guys have you tried them have you gone to ulta have you tested them out please let me know and i think they're also available at sephora if i'm not mistaken i think i saw them i will link everything down below and i love you guys so so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye